Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the parabola, transforming standard form to general form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 2 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we saw basic examples of standard form. So we have x squared equals 8y and this equation. So feel free to see the link on the description down below with regards to the part 1 of our video class. It's better for you to see the part 1 before solving for this part 2. Alright, so let's solve this part 2 of the video. So this part 2 class will be quite tricky since the number, right, since we have a fraction class. The number before this quantity is given fraction. So what would be the thing that you will do if you have this kind of equation? So this will be quite tricky class, but do not be worried. We need to answer this one step by step. So we transform this one into this one. So let's start with number 1. So let me copy the equation first. So we have quantity y minus 3. Okay, let me just don't write the number. Squared equals 24 over 5. Quantity x plus 4. So if you have this kind of equation class, the thing that you will do class is you need to remove this denominator. Once again class, if you're dealing with fractions, it will be complicated if you have denominators. So the thing that you will do is you just simply remove this denominator. Now how to remove the denominator? So to remove this one, you just simply multiply it by positive 5. Multiply the equation class by positive 5. Why is that sir? Because positive 5 multiplied by this equation, you can just simply cancel this out. Alright, so that's the thing that you will do class. You need to remove that denominator. Eliminate the denominator class because if you're dealing with fractions, it will be really complicated. Because if you simplify this one class by the distributive property, alright, 24 times this one, 24, 24 over 5 times x, that will be 24 over 5x, then 24 over 5 times this equation, it will be really complicated. That would be 96, 96 over 5, and you will be adding again a fractions. So it will be really complicated. So the thing that you will do is you need to multiply the equations by 5 because we can cancel this out 5 divided by 5 is simply cancel so multiply the equations with 5 if you multiply on the right you also do that on the left side so we can just simply cancel this out so you can cancel this out so the equation will be the mean equation will be 5 okay 5 times this equation you distribute plus all right and also this one so 5 times this equation, there will be 5 times y minus 3, quantity squared equals, so we just eliminated 5, the remaining equation will be 24 times x plus 4. So what will be the denominator class? You just need to multiply it both sides. Since the denominator is 5, so that's why we multiply it both sides by 5. And this will be the equation class. Now if this is the equation, it would be really easy for us to simplify this one. So once again... Before multiplying 5 in this equation, always follow PEMDAS class. Just remember PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So therefore, do not multiply 5 in this parenthesis because parenthesis, exponents, comes first. You simplify this one first class before multiplying it by 5. So simply copy 5, then you simplify this one. Alright, so what will be the answer for this one class? y minus 3 quantity squared so y minus 3 quantity squared once again you can have two solutions class you can do the foil method or you can do the square of binomial so we will be explaining that one step by step let's do the foil method class so you have two options class to answer this one you can do the foil method because y quantity or y minus 3 quantity squared it means that you multiply this equation by itself twice X, uh, y minus 3 times y minus 3. Just remember the FOIL method class. For f, that is first y times y. That would be y squared. And then outer, y times negative 3. So positive y times negative 3. Positive times negative, that is negative 3y. Inner, okay. Negative y, negative 3 times positive y, negative times positive is negative, 3 times y is 3y. Then last, negative 3 times negative 3, 
negative times negative is positive 3 times 3 is 9. So, positive 9. So, combining like terms class, this one. So, copy y squared. So, once again, if you both if you both have negatives, negative 3 and negative 3, simply copy the sign, then add the numbers. 3 plus 3 is 6, then copy y. Do not be confused because if, if you both have negatives, if you're combining, simply copy negative sign, then add the number 3 plus 3 is 6, copy y. Then copy 9. This will be the answer class. When you solve this one, by FOIL method, this will be your answer. y squared minus 6y plus 9. Then close parenthesis. Once again, class, for me, class, it's better to use the square of binomial. Because it would be really easy, class, doing the square of binomial. But do not be worried, class. I will just put the link on the description down below with regards to the square of binomial. So in the square of binomials, class, it says you square the first term. Okay, it would be really easy, class, if you do it this way, the square of binomial. So feel free to see the video, class, for you to learn more how, how to solve the square of binomial. First, you square the first term. So square the first term. This is our first term. Why? You square it. Right? And then multiply the first term and second term times 2. Multiply the first term and second term. So y times, this will be y times negative 3. Multiply the first term and second term times 2. Times 2. And then you square the last term. So you square the, our last term or our second term is negative 3. So negative 3 then squared. That's it class. You simplify. So, square the first term, y squared. So, y times y, that would be y squared. Then, multiply the first term and second term, negative 3 times y. That's negative 3y times 2. That's negative 6y. Then, you square the second term, negative 3 times negative 3. That's positive 9. And you will get the same answer. So, without using, if, you, if you're familiarized with this one, if you, if you master this one, you just simply square the first term. So y times y, that's y squared. So you can just simply y squared. Then multiply this one, y times negative 3. And y times negative 3, that's negative 3y times 2, that's negative 6y. Then you square this one, negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. So if you master this one class, it would be really easy for you. So the square of binomial up. For me, class, you better master the square of binomial for you to simplify this one easily. You can just look at it. This you can you can just look the equation, class, and you can get the answer within three seconds, I think, if you master the square of binomial. All right, so this will be y squared minus six y plus nine. So this will be our answer. So we we need to do it plus step by step for you to really understand this one. So this will be equals you distribute this one class 24 times x that would be 24x then 24 times 4 24 times 4 i think this 96 let me check 24 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 6 carry 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 96 positive 96 all right and then okay and then you distribute class this one Alright, 5 times y squared. So once again, you distribute. You can now multiply class because we're done in parenthesis exponent. So we can now do the multiplication. So 5 times y squared, that's 5y squared. Alright, and then 5 times negative 6y. So positive times negative is negative. 5 times 6 is 30, then copy y. Negative 30y. Then 5 times positive 9, that's positive 45 equals 24x plus 96 all right and then you transpose this equation from right to left because all of the equations class will be on the left side of this equal side once again this is our equal sign this is left this is right our right side should be equal to zero so we need to transpose this 24 from right to left i hope you're still with me class so transpose this one and this 96 so this will be 5y squared, okay, x comes first before y, so check the equation class. We already explained that on the part 1 of our video, why is it x comes first before y. Always remember that one class, if you have the same, okay, if you have x and y, 
So you have same degree, which is 1, same exponent, which is 1. X comes first before Y class if they have the same exponent. Why is that, sir? Because in algebra, the letters are arranged. Okay, according to its... Uh, the letters are arranged class. If they have the same exponent, you need to arrange the letters according to alphabet, alphabet class. X comes first before Y. We already explained that in the part 1 of our video. So we have... Transpose this one. This is 24x. This will be negative 24x. And this will be negative 30y. So once again, class, for 24x, we transpose this 24. This is positive. It will be negative 24x. For 30y, still negative. Now you will be asking, why is it still negative, sir? Because we didn't transpose 30y, class. 30y is still on the left side of this equal sign. Check the equal sign, class. This is left. This is right. So we transpose 24, that's why we change the sign. For 30, do not change the sign class. Then copy 45 plus 45, then transpose 96 from right to left. This is positive, it will be negative 96. Equal 0. Alright, we're almost done class. Next step class is we need to combine like terms. Can we combine this one? Yep, we cannot combine x and y. So we cannot also combine y squared and this one. So we can only combine the constant, the number. So this will be 5y squared minus 24x minus 30y, then 45 minus 96, 45 minus 96, All right, 45 minus 96 plus. Do they have the same signs? Nope, they don't have the same signs. So if, you don't, if they don't have the same signs, you need to subtract. Okay, subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. Subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. So 96 minus 45. So 6 minus 5 is 1. 9 minus 4 is 5. 51. Alright, so we have negative or is it positive or negative? It should be negative 51 plus. Now you'll be asking, why is that, sir? Because once again, if they don't have the same signs, you subtract then copy the sign of the larger number. That's why we have negative 51. Alright, so we're almost done. Now check this one class, the equation. Last part class, we're almost done. Check class, the equation. We have y squared, so we need to follow this format. y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Now since our y squared, the number before y squared is just 1. Check this one class. The number before y squared and x squared is just 1. So therefore, we need to divide the equation by 5. Once again, the number before y squared and x squared from the general form is just 1. So we need to divide the equation by 5. Now you'll be asking, why is it 5, sir? Because the number before y squared in our equation when we answered is 5. Now to get 1, we just simply divide it by 5 because 5 divided by 5 is 1. So divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5, and divide by 5 on the right. So our final answer will be, so you can just simply cancel this out. Our final answer will be y squared minus, can we divide 24 by 5? Nope, we cannot divide 24 by 5 because if we divide that one, we, you will get a decimal answer and we're not allowed to have a decimal answer. But if you can reduce class, okay, if you can reduce, example, you can reduce it by 2 or 3, go ahead class. It's mandatory that in fractions, you always reduce it to the lowest term. But since we cannot reduce, simply copy class, 24 over 5x. And can we divide 30 by 5? Yup, we can divide 30 by 5. 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. Negative divided by positive is negative 6y. Can we divide 51 by 5? Nope. We cannot divide. We get a decimal answer. So this will be negative 51 over 5. Then 0 divided by 5 is 0. That's it, class. This will be our final answer for number 1, class. So our D, so once again, your D is beside X with the exponent of 1. So understood the exponent here of X is 1 from this equation. Check the equation class, the exponent is 1. So our d is beside x, there would be negative 24 over 5. And our e, okay, our e is beside y. So our e is negative 6. 
and our f is the constant that would be negative 51 over 5 that's it class all set for number one that's how you answer class transforming standard form to general form if you have given fractions so once again if you have some questions with regards to number one go ahead class feel free to leave a comment on the comment section down below if you have some equa equations that you want to be transformed into general form go ahead class you leave a comment in the comment section down below so once again i hope you learned something new today so i will just put the link class on the description down below with regards to this part three this will be part three class the number two because we don't have enough time our time is already 15 minutes so i will just put the link class on the description down below with regards to part two once again, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.